they will be featuring planners. Planners that you can get from any dollar store. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn these regular planners into art beautiful enough to stuff into any stocking stuffer, here for a present, and the thing just to use just around the house. Our finished product will be Make You Craft. Okay. Step one, you'll need fabric paint, markers, and my expensive tools. At the end of your project, you might want to spray it with crystal clear just to preserve your artwork. Perfect circle. You need anything that's close to you, a cup, anything you find around the house. You're going to make parentheses, just like you would do in drawing, just a parenthesis straight down. And instead of trying to go all the way around, you're going to turn the page. So all your parentheses are just going straight down which makes you not have to be an artist to do this. And it would be fun to show your little children. Kids of all ages would like this. On a rainy day, or when sometimes you just can't go outside. Turn the page. As you can see, my strokes are always coming down. That way, parentheses is something everyone can make. And they're gorgeous. Okay. Then we'll have some circles. Anybody can make a circle. Circles that you just put around. Shaping up to be quite a flower, isn't it? To make the design interesting, you can take another color. Give it a little color in it. Still your parentheses are going straight down. Turn the page. Turn whatever you're working on, just turn the project. In this instant, turn the planner. Well, your strokes are always going down. They don't have to be even. All they have to do is go down, just like a parenthesis. You never have to worry about making a mistake because anything you make a mistake about, you'll cover it up with the fabric paint. It's great. Foolproof. Turn the page. These are just strokes straight up. Anybody can make strokes straight up. You stay right in the little spot. Just stroke straight up. Turn the planner which makes everything even and uniform. And like I said, you don't have to be precise. Just a little will do, because you're going to 
cover it up with the fabric paint. This is how your base project goes. We're back with stage two. This is when we're going to decorate our flower and really make it pop. Again, with just circles. Anyone can make circles. This can be done with regular markers, paint pens, paint brush, anything you have handy around the house. Isn't that beautiful? This is a flower. Now we're going to fill in with blue paint pen just to give it some sparkle. You can do any design you like. Never mess up because soon we'll be putting the paint on it and it will fill in all the gaps. straight up. Any design will do as long as it's uniform. Meaning, every flower petal has the same design or at least looks like the same one. But all of this doesn't matter because when you put the paint on, you can do marvelous things with the paint. Any mistakes you think you made, cover it up with the paint. Anything you want to ad lib or bring really bright, bring it out with the paint. So, we're almost at our last part with the paint. It's going to be gorgeous. Anyone from five to adulthood can learn to make a plan. metallics and I've chosen gray and my tool so let's get started you will need a tissue just to be close and clean off the tip so when you're drawing with the tip and it's all in the squeeze and when little children are using it they need supervision because they'll just squeeze it all out and it's all in the squeeze. You just want to accent what you have already drawn. You're not really painting, you're just accenting what you already have drawn. So I would like to accent around here. And you just click a little bit paint and squeeze it very slowly around there. It'll come out as hard as you squeeze it. Sometimes if I find I've squeezed too much, I'll just add some more. And let's go for our tool. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. This is just one of many styles you can create. With just a toothpick mm -hmm. and fabric paint, we have created quite a design, but that's only the beginning. Same thing, you want to make sure the tip is clear. And just that. That's in any design you would like. 
just brings another dimension to your flower. You can never go wrong. Anything you can draw, you can find it in nature. Guaranteed. Isn't it coming along great? Now, with even strokes, you're going to make sure you don't squeeze too much. And you're going to come down with your paint. Just going to lightly accent it. You don't want a lot. Turn the paint. And you're using the parenthesis. Anybody can make a parenthesis straight down. Turn the planner. Strokes straight down. Isn't that beautiful? And you're not going over the same lines because you want to see the blue through it. You want to see the gray through it. It's just accenting what you already drew. We're creating a flower planner. We've already put the white metallic stripes around with just the accent. But you must go in quickly with the gray because when we go to use our tool, you'll see the feathering that I'm going to show you how to do. which will bring everything together. Still just parenthesis going straight down. Can't go wrong. Straight down. Watch the flow, not to squeeze too hard. Turn the planner. Isn't that beautiful? Last but not least, our tool. Straight down, stroke straight down. This makes the paint adhere to the surface really well. And it gives it a great look also. Turning the planner. Always turning that planner gives you control over your expensive tool so the strokes can always go straight down. Oh, won't you be able to show your loved ones a beautiful planner that you designed? And if they're that crazy about it, you can show them how to do it themselves. All within no more than a half an hour, 30 minutes. It's a lot of fun to do when it's raining outside and you can't go out. This will take about 24 hours to dry very well. Isn't it beautiful? Looks like a Cherokee or an artist of some note have really taken their time and done it. This would retail in any store for at least ten dollars from a dollar plan. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. And the last thing you want to do is when it dries after 24 hours is to take the crystal clear paint spray and go outside because it's so toxic and spray it lightly six inches away one spray across that's it and your planner will be ready the spray that you spray across it that i was telling you the crystal clear it dries in about 10 minutes again 
this is what you can do in your own spare time to make money or to save money. Welcome back to Tina's Room again, and I'll show you something new.